Hi, my name is Brian Chase, Senior Partner and Senior Trial Attorney and Head of the Litigation Department at Bisnar & Chase. I want to talk to you today about talcum powder and ovarian cancer. It is actually a very serious public health issue. Now you may be asking yourselves, how is talcum powder a serious public health issue? Well, the reason is, is for decades, Johnson & Johnson has marketed and targeted women and mothers with catchphrases such as, Moms Trust Johnson. It's gentle and mild. It gently absorbs excess moisture. A sprinkle a day keeps the odor away. We've been hearing things like that for decades, so who would think a product like that is dangerous? Well, in reality, it's very dangerous. There are in excess of 20 epidemiological studies supporting that there is an increased risk of ovarian cancer from talcum powder use in the genital area. As a matter of fact, depending on how long you use it, anywhere from a 50% to 200% increased risk of ovarian cancer. That's really serious. Now let's take a look at what did Johnson & Johnson know and when did they know it? If we go back to 1982, that's almost 35 years ago, a Harvard doctor published a study and submitted it to Johnson & Johnson that there was an increased risk of ovarian cancer with talcum powder use. A few years later, in 1986, Johnson & Johnson's own internal documents support the fact that they knew there was a growing concern among healthcare professionals about baby powders. In 1994, Johnson & Johnson documents show that the scientific community has been warning for more than 50 years of an increased risk of cancer and talcum powder use. This has been going on for decades. Now, Johnson & Johnson knew that. Why didn't they warn? And what about warnings? Well, let's talk about that. When the talcum powder is mined from the earth and placed in a 55-gallon drum and shipped over to Johnson & Johnson, there's a warning on that drum talking about it being a potential carcinogenic. Yet, when Johnson & Johnson scoops the talc out of that drum, putting it in their plastic bottle, there is no warning on it. And what you're buying in the store is 99% talcum powder from the earth and just a 1% fragrance added in. That's all it is. Now, are there other alternatives to, other than having to use talcum powder? There are, and actually Johnson & Johnson sells that too. Cornstarch. So I want to encourage you, if you have the need or feel the need to use talcum powder, don't use that, but use the cornstarch product. It'll do the same job, but get rid of the carcinogenic effects. Thank you.